Hey guys, this is Sean Sandridge coming to you with a video. We are going to, or I'm going to review The Apprentice, the first episode. So as you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger is going to be the host of The Apprentice and he has two members of his boardroom. Now you're going to see some things that are going to be very resonant of The Apprentice with Donald Trump, but he has definitely made it his own. The introduction is very much Arnold Schwarzenegger. You're going to see throughout the episode some of his kind of kooky and a little corny, but he commands the boardroom. So he has, I, I think these two people are going to be his uh long staying members of his boardroom, which is Tyra Banks. And everyone knows Tyra Banks is the supermodel. And also she is CEO of her own uh, company and she has uh, a new beauty line. And then her, he has his uh, nephew and his name is Patrick Knapp Schwarzenegger, who is, who is his nephew, his trusted confidant, and he is a prominent entertainer entertainment attorney um during the opening you'll see warren buffett there'll be um jessica alba and maybe two other uh people who are going to be part of his boardroom that's going to come through now i'm going to tell you this um i'm going to talk really fast because the show was an hour and a half long well actually an hour and 40 something minutes long and i'm going to try to condense this down to 15 minutes because this is going to be an upload you guys have been really patient i don't want to waste any time and let's get to it so just in case you don't know the cast it's Brooke Burke, Burke Charvet. She's a celebrity. You may know her from Dancing with the Stars. She was one of the first hosts of Dancing with the Stars. And she's CEO of Modern Mom. There's Carney Wilson, most mostly uh, known as one of the three members of the Wilson Phillips uh, uh, group. Then there's Carrie Keegan. Um, she is a YouTube celebrity. Evidently, she has a huge following on YouTube. Then there's Carson Cressley, celebrity stylist. We may have first known him from the show Queer Eye for the Squ Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Then there's Shale Sonnen, who is a UFC MMA fighter. Boy George, um, Grammy a winner, Grammy Grammy Award winner, songwriter, and the lead vocal of the 80s group Culture Club, who is my favorite. Uh, we have Eric Dickerson, who is a pro football running back. John Lovitz, who is comedian, film, TV show star. And he is a former Saturday Night Live cast member. Kyle Richards, actress right now on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hill. Layla Ali, boxer, uh, retired four-time champ, four champion boxer, and also the daughter of the late legendary Muhammad Ali, Lisa Leslie, WNBA champ, four-time um, gold medalist in the basketball field. We have Matt uh, Isaman, who is American Ninja warrior host, comedian, actor, and he is also a licensed physician. I found him to be very funny. Then we have Nicole Snooky Polizzi, author, and we also know her from the Jersey Shore. Portia Williams, uh, we know her from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Ricky Williams, he is a Heisman Trophy winner. He's a football player. Vince Neal, another 80s icon, lead vocalist for the metal band Mott. Motley Crue. So that is the group. Now, their first task was to um, come up with a 10-minute concept brand on Tyra Banks' new uh, product line. And just to let you know, they had to, the first thing that they had to do was come up with names. So the women, the, they're split in between male and female. The women are Prima and the men are Arate. And they are to come up with a 10 minute concept for Tyra Banks new um, beauty concept. So the women came up with um, coming up with fierce and fabulous and had the models um, showcase a fresh look and a fierce look. Um, the men came up with the concept of what the product is, is that there are six sticks and you can use these six sticks in five minutes to make yourself an everyday look 
or a fierce look. So that was her concept. What the men did was had the model and each man came up with each stick and they did a little product pitch. Long story short, oh, Portia was the project manager of this uh, task and Boy George was the product manager for the men. So um, they had the 10 minute uh, pitch. She has the executive meeting to let uh, both of them know both groups know what she was looking for. And long story short, the winner were the men. So um, the great thing about the men's concept is that they kind of did it like an infomercial. It was very um, fun and had, you know, sex sells. So there was sexual innu innuendos, but it was fun. And the reason why Tyra liked the men's uh, pitch was that they made a point to use the product as far as what the product does. So they were selling the product and it was also talking about the technology of not getting into fine lines. Where they felt, where she felt the women fell short was that they didn't use their celebrity to sell themselves for the product. So the men won. Um, so during this time, Portia was the project manager and, um, the women got on my nerves and I thought that this was going to be easy, but none of the women, and you see this throughout the show, none of the women really wanted to say who should get fired. Everybody's watched the show. You, if you're in the boardroom, you have to either say why you should stay or why you should get fired. And Arnold was getting really annoyed. Now, I will say Portia was very strong in this episode. It was like the Portia show. She was very strong and she showed a lot of confidence. Um, there was a point in time where he's speaking in his native tongue that she's just talking too much. And, she, and he was annoyed with her. But long story short... Uh, the first person to get eliminated was Carrie, the YouTube celebrity. The next task was um, Trident Company. Now, Trident wanted them to come up with a song and a video, and it was about Everyday Smiles, Cherish Your Teeth campaign. So the project manager was Carney Wilson uh, for the women and John Lovitz for the men. Now... <sighs> After much going back and forth, the guys come up with the concept. They're going to go out and they're going to show how things make you smile. And I thought that was a really good concept. Uh, the girls decided that they were going to use Layla Ali, um, boxing champion, and Snooki, who's only like five feet nothing, and that she was going to knock Layla Ali out with a winning smile. So... Boy George and, and Vince Neil d do the song. Carney Wilson does the song for the females because they had to come up with a song and they start filming. Well, <laughs> when they both put out their projects for the Trident Company to see, oh, let me go back. The, the men come with a concept that they like. What ended up happening is that uh, Lisa Leslie did not like the concept. She voiced the concept, but everybody was stuck on Kyle's vision of coming up with this knock you out smile uh, doing that. And so after everyone seemed to be on board with it, Lisa backed down and uh, that went to her demise. But when they were filming it, the men, it, they were having fun, but it was kind of disheveled and it was kind of you know, hokey and, you know, they had problems when the women were doing their video. Um, at first it was a uh, video. Uh, they did the video uh, sideways. So they had to reshoot. So Snooki was in the ring with Layla Ali for like five hours. Um, cause that's how long it took not only to just do the beginning shooting, but they had to reshoot because all the stuff that they were getting for editing was wrong. Uh, for the men, George got a little annoyed with Vince because, uh, George is a recovering addict and he didn't like the fact that Vince was drinking in the recording studio. Um, he admits that he was being bossy, but he also didn't like the fact that he was drinking. So they had a little falling out. So what ended up happening is that the both, both, uh, groups had to, uh, bring out their campaign 
and uh, they kind of had a stone face on both of them, but they really had a stone face with uh, the men's concept. So while they were in the boardroom, um, what Trident said for the men is that they actually liked the concept, but they didn't like the production. For the women, they liked their production, but they felt that they missed the mark on Everyday Smiles because they only had um, Layla and Snooki in the ring. So what ended up happening is that the men won. Go figure. Even though the production was bad, what they did is they... they had the essence of the concept of everyday smiles, things that make you smile. So Carson Cressley found a great pair of shoes that made him smile. Um, John Lovitz was getting licked on by his dog. That made him smile. It had one of the football players love to sing gospel. That made him smile. And then the other, um, Matt Iceman, he had these big things of buffalo wings. That made him smile. However, they lost the mark because... It would have been different if he was gazing at the buffalo wings and was smiling about it before he ate them. What he ended up doing was eating the buffalo wings and it was all over his face. And they felt like that missed the concept of what Trident is try trying to do. Fresh, protect your teeth and all that stuff. So, But even though they lost the, the concept on the production, overall they did a better job than the women. So the men won the task again. So they're back, the women are back in the boardroom. So Carney's in the boardroom and she brings uh, Snooki and Lisa. And so Lisa told her, told Carney, when we get back in the boardroom, don't worry, I'm gonna tell you what I really feel. So she told them that, that Carney was the project manager, it always falls on the project manager, and that she stuck with a, a concept and the concept, obviously, the the Trident didn't like. So Carney never took ownership that she made a, even though she took a risk, the risk fell short because the client didn't like it. And that the person should have that should have been brought back in the boardroom should have been Kyle. Frankly, I think who should have been brought back into the boardroom was Kyle and Brooke because Brooke didn't do anything. And Brooke made it a point that she was going to step back because she didn't want to get fired. She didn't want to take on being a project manager because you do get the brunt. You have to answer for if you lose, why did you lose? So I didn't see anything that Brooke did. She didn't, actually Portia did a lot. Portia was part of the editing. She was um, helping direct the, the commercial. Uh, Portia and Snooki were doing editing. And of course, Carney came up with the song, but Brooke didn't do anything. And Kyle came up with a concept that the client didn't like. So Carney didn't bring in the right two people. Long story short, Carney got terminated. Now, for the boardroom, Arnold Schwarzenegger wants to be called the governor. And as Trump would say, you're fired, he says, you're terminated. So that was good. But when, you know, he did on the first one, he says, you're terminated, go to the chopper, which is the helicopter, which I thought was cool because it's like, get out of here. Now, when he did it the second time and he says, you're terminated, he said, hasta la vista, baby. That lost me because I'm thinking to myself, if you're going to spend this whole time of The Apprentice using your corny phrases of your movie terms, you're going to lose me. I did like the idea saying that you're terminated because that is something that you would hear if you got fired. Um, but I think he should just stick with you terminated and either say go to the chopper or just say you're terminated. But yeah, that's how that went. That was an hour and 45 minutes chopped up in less than 15 minutes. That is what I have for the first episode. I liked it. Uh, please leave your comments below. Take care of yourself and each other. I am hoping to be a little bit more peppy because I did take my medication. But I wanted to get here for you because it's late. So take care of yourself, each other. Please like, comment, subscribe. want to let you know you can find me on other social media platforms. You can find me on Periscope, IG, and Twitter. Same name, keeping it simple. Bye.